Hello everyone. Okay, we are officially back. Um, so what happened was, uh, after what Rokuro said, there's like this whole like anime theme song sequence, whatever the fuck. And because I'm using a really bad device, it wasn't playing smoothly. So it kept stopping and going. And I couldn't just skip it, otherwise, um, uh, I wouldn't be able to advance the story. So I had to sit through it. Um, it took a lot longer than I anticipated, but we finally got through it. So just a little catch. So after that, uh, what happened was apparently everyone had the same dream that Rokuro uh, died. Um, and we were about to. Oh, and Sustaina Chan said it was something about like a uh, like an occult phenomena or something like that. So we are about to uh, invent. Uh, we're about to interrogate all our students, and let's get right into it. Here we go. So yeah. maybe everybody thinks Veronica should die. Oh yeah, and no, everyone hates Rokuro <laughs> so much that like they wish T died. <laughs> Tina, it ah oh, fuck, I hate your name. Uh, Tina uh, <laughs> erupt. It looks like it erupt. Like, Krakatoa. I'm gonna call her Tina Krakatoa. Like, you know from Spongebob? Yeah. Like, Krakatoa! <laughs> Tina uh, Krakatoa. Seat number four. Anything unusual? Let us see. There have been rumors amongst the girls as of late. Some say they hear strange voices. Strange voices? Like what? Hmm, well, it's not as if I heard my, them myself. Inquire with Ia, if you please. Dia was a wealthy daughter from the Krakatoa financial... Con... 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 Uh, fuck. Uh, some, some complicated word. Pomegranate. From <laughs> some financial... I'm sorry, it looks like pomegranates. <laughs> in short, a very large group that held considerable power in this area. As for the as for the girl herself, I guess I should say hard to get a hold of. On. While her thinking in itself it's was sound, her unbending nature made it common for her to clash with other people, which was a bit concerning. It was a very strange occurrence for this class alone to have all the same dream. So okay. So it's only this class, not because there's other classes that exist, which is a shocker. Um, uh, so this is the only class that has the dreams, because there are others. Because you remember in the dream, all there's a bunch of other classes. Yeah. So, I'm actually just wondering because what happened? Who's the girl who's who's the girl who fainted? Oh, uh, your no, not Yuki. No, no, no. no. I, I think it's Yuki. Something like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it was Yuki. She, I remember she fainted, so I don't exactly... That that might be important. I don't know. Hopefully, it is a dream. Alright, you can go. Okay, so we're, we're outside the classroom, I believe. <clears throat> Pardon me. See, uh, seat number two. Uh, Yuki... You the Shiro, Shiro. I'm sleepy. That's nothing new. You're the first witness. Uh, uh, you were the first witness, Yuki. I'm part of the campus cleanup committee, so I, I woke up early to water the flowers in the classroom, and then I fainted as soon as I saw it. Yuki always seemed to be sleepy and half awake during class at best. <clears throat> However, she did good work for the cleanup committee every morning, so I didn't think she lacked diligence. Even if she nodded off in class. Now every day you see a corpse. It's alright, get some rest. Uh, okay. I'm sure it was a dream, yeah. Though, I don't feel like I slept at all. We are technically in class, so don't sleep now. Aww. She was all set to conk out, huh? Where's the music at? Oh, this is... See, number seven! Ia Shisahibe! Hey, uh! Ow, my ears. <laughs> I wanna get closer because, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. 
Do you know what turned me? You've heard some strange voice. No. Oh, wait, no. I was gonna say, no, Tina didn't say that. Tina said the girl said that. He said to tell, he said to ask Ia for more information. Not just that Ia heard the voices herself, but okay. Strange voices? Uh, oh yeah, I did! Like, kind of like moaning? M moaning? Oh, don't get any ideas! Uh, no, not, not like that. Oh, shit. Uh, uh. M moaning? Girl, something like. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it wasn't like that. Cause something like that. Why are you looking at? Me? She wrote it on her arm. She, no, she she wrote it on her arm. She wrote it on how to say it. Uh, what was it? Let me look at my arm. I remember I wrote it down on my arm. I, Girl, I wrote oh, it. something like that. I wrote how to pronounce. I wrote how to pronounce it. I call that growling myself. Yeah, that's the ticket! Ia looked and act flashy, but didn't behave badly or anything. I'd call her a lighthearted student. But occasionally, she'd be too lighthearted and have that taken advantage of. Well, I don't know if that has anything to do with this, though. Right now, I want to hear whatever anyone has to say. Alright, you're done. Righty tootie! What? Right. Hey, even he's confused. Even he's confused. Is that some sort of anime they watch? Uh, Ratty Tootie? Like Ratatouille? <laughs> like, I don't know. <clears throat> Kashina Akabana. Seat number one. So is he going just like girls first and then boys, I guess? No, he's going in some sort of order. I, I feel like he's going down the rows or something. I have no clue exactly. No, you strained your voice so much. I'm the class president, so I feel it's expected of my title. So, something unusual? I can't really say I know anything. Wouldn't even count with Kuro dying, honestly. Not even a person's death. Look, you just plain expect him to get murdered, right? Even if it was a mass dream. Well, I do expect he'd earn grudges. There have been countless times I might have gone through with my murderous intents, if not at the laws of this land. Wait, what? I might have come. There might have been countless times I might have gone through. What does that mean? Have you murdered people before? Oh, no. Is she, is, is, uh, am I interpreting this wrong, or is Yoinaro not hearing this? <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, it wasn't just me. I think she wa I think if she could, she. Uh, That's not what she's saying, though. She literally just said, "I've gone, I've gone, I've murdered people countless times." <laughs> That's frightening. Like he doesn't earn it with this. Like he doesn't earn it with the things he does. I prefer if he were a simple skirt flipper. Honestly, you're fine with skirt flipping. Why not? It's just fabric. Yoshima is overly serious, or. Maybe more accurately, she played by her own bizarre rules. <laughs> bizarre. I like the anime, JoJo's Bizarre World. Ew, you like anime? Fuck you, Kashima. Go back inside. Uh, first, uh, Ia, and now you? It wasn't even Ia. It was like he Amino or something. I meant to say Amino. I thought it was Ia. How? They act very differently. Amino's fucking stupid. Ia has good grades. Sometimes she'd make some dangerous sounding proclamations too. There are the deep in time she nearly went fist flying. Oh, oh, never mind. And there had indeed been times she nearly went fist flying. She had a tendency to let her feelings overcome her a bit too often. Despite how she spoke, her eyes were wavering quite a bit, likely due to her over diligent personality. With everyone thinking it was a strange dream, she might have been the only one more disturbed by this incident. Well, okay. Don't ever do it. You can go now. Excuse me. Sesena Canal, seat number five. Ha ha ha! The god within me is speaking! I hear you, Lord! And I will... I will... Uh... Uh, I should have prepared this, this more. This is a public school. 
I don't care. I I had the power of God coursing through my veins. <laughs> uh, that that's that's fine. You said something about a cult, right? Are you sure you're not part of that cult? <laughs> <clears throat> they say things have been much too peaceful thus far. In other words, you you yourself have nothing to note besides the the incident. Jumping, jumping, jelly jackpot, jackpot. What? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Why? Just what it sounds like. Oh, fucking gibberish. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> uh, you can head back inside now. Thank you, Cecina. Why is she making a face? Like it's only natural. I understand that. Wow, I believe it to be a bad dream, but Cecina, she surely loved the occult. She sometimes bring up spiritual matters, often making me unsure how to react. The phrases she tend she used tended to get oddly stuck in my memories. In fact, I almost said them myself sometimes. Oh, okay, you can go now. Righto regarded Rigatoni. What is with the translation? I feel like I <laughs> these aren't things. I don't. <laughs> Like, I feel like half of these things that they're saying aren't what they actually said. And it's just like a weird-ass mistranslation. <laughs> or it just wouldn't make sense in English. So he just said, fuck it. We'll make it. We'll make them say the most weirdest shit. <laughs> Mino Nara 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 Date. Um, seat number... Nine. <laughs> yep. Something strange, hmm? Is the teacher really a virgin? <laughs> Who told you that? Yeah! Mm. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, huh. He's just so happy, ba. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! Hi! Hey! She has a really short name. She has a really short name! <laughs> the answer is no. Oh, I see! This isn't necessary. <laughs> so, what's a virgin? That's where we're headed. Huh. Uh, oh well. Nothing from you then. Is this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you understand what this is, so I know what it is, so that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> is it something you eat? You're. <laughs> <laughs> You're not exactly wrong. Got it! <laughs> Maybe it's gum. <laughs> I mean, you don't exactly eat that. You just chew it and spit. Okay, shut up. You're on... <laughs> she don't got it. Mina was as lighthearted as Ia. She ain't got or rhythm. Rather, what? She ain't got rhythm. She ain't got <laughs> 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 or rather, she was basically floating. Wild would probably be the ideal word to describe Mino. Just like a feral child, her physical abilities were extremely high, but she mostly flunked outside of PE. Oh, you can go back to your seat now. Gotcha! Woo! It just like cartwheels back into the classroom. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> like, Ow! Ow, Mino, what the hell? Uh, I think, okay, I'm guessing this... I don't know. I have no is. clue. This is a girl or a guy. It looks like a guy. It looks like a girl. But then he was like referred to like then he she was referred to as a guy. And then like they said all the and then and the other girls like oh all the guys are gonna hang out with each other. Right. It's like I don't know. Um. All right. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'll give him. I don't know. Give him like an in between. I can't. It's very hard. Okay. Fine. I'll just do what I did before. If it's if I can't even do that. C number six. Naki. Kuririko, let's see, I don't think I know anything, I haven't come to school in a while. Right, you only occasionally come to school due to your performing work. Yeah, no hoping that. <clears throat> well, I mean, I think it was a dream, it's just all kinds of strange. Uh, he, right there. Oh. Okay. Nagi was active in the entertainment world from a young age. It seemed fairly popular, so he could only sometimes come to school. He looks so feminine, though. That's yeah. the thing. That's what really threw me off. He does not look a hint masculine. 
Like, <laughs> maybe, like, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe they said, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Even so, he was an excellent student who got above average test scores. His lack of attendance made it hard to show that on the report card, though. He apparently used a stage name, but I'd never seen Naki on TV. Even though, according to him, he appeared pretty regularly. So right when you were you arrived, disaster struck. Don't put it like that, Mr. Yoinara. I'm a student of class two one two. Right, sorry. You can go back now. Don't push yourself too much, Mr. Yoinara. Rokuro Yam Yamakagashi, seat number twelve. Well, I wouldn't say there's been anything too bizarre. Jojo's bizarre adventure. Okay, that's just okay. The joke, the joke's old now. Calm down. Why are you always drifting away? Like I don't even know if he's even picking you up. But <clears throat> just got my body tore up and hung and killed. But that's all. So he does. Okay, so he he did get killed in his dream. Okay, so that confirms that. You're the one I wanted to hear from the most. But seriously, that that is all I've got. Basically, I'm the one who wants to know what happened to me. The girl was the most difficult person to deal with in the class. And the hardest to tell what he was thinking. Self-conceited and not very cooperative, he was a little of trouble. If only he were a little more mature. If you don't know, I guess there's nothing I can do. That's right. You can go now. I'll ask if anything strikes me. You want to talk to me that badly, yoi chan? Not right now. Nope. Feel free to leave. Rude. Or whatever, bitch. I, I'll be actually die. What'd you say? Uh, nothing. Uh, see? Oh. But I gave him the cell voice, right? I think so. No, I thought it was zero. I thought it was zero for a minute. Okay. Oh, that's, oh. I no, this is that... Riku, not zero. Oh. That's why I got confused for a second. Uh, <clears throat> scene number eight. Riku, Riku Takaso. Takaso. So he already is very is similar. <clears throat> what has me curious is how I've heard you've been going to the local Oboro Soba shop lately. Pretty much daily, if I hear right. How do you know that? How do these fucking kids know about me? Oh, because I go there too. Karuda likes a burro so soba. Come to think of it, he does. Is that unusual? I'm constantly shaking my head at how you two could eat it so often and never get tired of it. R Riku, not Riku. Riku was a highly self-confident and looked down on others some, but proved a helpful sort. He and Karuda got along well. I did feel the friendship was mostly a result of Karuda's tolerance, forgiving Riku's eccentricity. Yeah, uh, fuck though. No. <laughs> You're getting older, Mister Yuinara, so you should probably pay more head. You probably pay more heed to your health sooner or later. If I could die from a Burba so soba, I'd be pretty happy with that. Everyone has a dream of him dying. <laughs> Karuda said something similar. You guys are beyond help. That's all you want to ask. You can leave now. Got it. Excuse me. That really was it. See, see number three. Karuda Uberwashi. Something strange, huh? Like you were eating a burba, a, a burba soba every day? Riku already mentioned that. Oh, I see. Did I ask Riku later? No need to do that. Karuda had no particular specialties, but he hit a high average, you might say. He genuinely gave me the impression that he could shrewdly work out anything. He had a big-hearted personality, too. No real faults to speak of. Nothing else in particular. Oh, the new Abura shop, uh, uh Abura soba shop. They opened, and Kata, Katanbashi is pretty good. That is good info. We always head out. Let's go right now. D don't you gotta do the other students? Nope. Let's pack my bag. I'm gonna just pack a few things, and we can go there. 
Isn't that like kind of like kidnapping, though? Oh, no. You can just say like I'm your dad or something. Well, all right, let's go. I don't care about these stupid kids. If anything, I hope they all kill Rakura or something. I don't know. Nice. Let's eat there sometime, Mr. Yoinara. <laughs> Later. You can go back to your seat. Okay. 